the shooting of the Batman has been cancelled because you know why I'm back, right? I mean, it's pretty obvious why I'm back. It's like completely obvious. But if you don't know, DC is back. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm way too excited right now. I don't want to shout. I don't want to. I don't want I just. I'm excited, okay? DC is finally back. We have DC Universe again, ladies and gentlemen. It is exciting. Okay, just. Okay, sorry. Okay, let's just. But we have the Batman, Wonder Woman 84 and Black Adam. Oh my God. And are we even ready to talk about the Snyder Cut of Justice League? I don't think we are. So today, I'm not going to talk about Jack Snyder at all. Okay, we'll, I, we do not deserve that much of awesomeness right now. Okay, we'll just wait for 2021. And when the pandemic is over, we we'll embrace the awesomeness. Okay, yeah. But the three main events. Let's talk about those three, all right? We'll talk about them one by one, starting with Wonder Woman 84, because there is not really much to talk about it, all right? And <laughs> I know if you've seen the movie, sorry, the trailer, I mean, if you've seen the trailer, then you are pretty confused right now. You're like, what the fuck is happening? And how the fuck is he alive? And who the fuck is she? I know, I know, it is pretty confusing and you were like, you don't know anything about it, but calm down, all right? Just take a few deep breaths. Don't be so excited. Don't be so confused. Trust me, once you watch the movie, everything will be clear, okay? Everything will be like, phew, yeah, that's, that's, that worked out for the best, right? Yeah, so don't worry, okay? But if you, if you are worrying and if you want details before the movie, then you could go ahead and read the comics, right? Or, or you can comment down below and tell me to tell you all the details before the movie comes out. But that is for you to decide. So I'll leave it to you and, and let's just move on. Okay, have you seen the memes on this thing? Have you seen the memes on Wonder Woman 84? I mean, the trailer has done nothing but provide meme content to us, right? That, that is all it has done for the movie. Okay, <laughs> and the memes are pretty awesome. Okay, I, I'll show you my favorite one and then we'll just, we'll just go to the next one because it is awesome, okay, it's so, it's so funny. So, yeah, okay, so a guy just took a screenshot of Cheetah the villain in Wonder Woman 84 and put it on Twitter and said, DC Comics presenting Cats 2, which is pretty accurate once you see the Cats poster. I mean, the resemblance is uncanny, right? I know, it's, it's completely uncanny. But whatever, let's move on. Let's, let's, let's talk about Black Adam. Yes, my favorite. Oh my, yes, I am more excited about Black Adam than the Batman because Black Adam is my favorite. I know that me and Joker have a few similarities between us. Like he's a psychopath, I'm a psychopath, he kills people. I, I do something of sorts. I mean, you know, you get the gist. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh, but, 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 okay, let's talk about Black Adam, you hear talk about Black Adam, so let, leave out Joker, okay, ba Black Adam is my best, because hands down, he's the best villain ever made in the DC universe, all right, he, he's the strongest, he's the best, that's it, end of story, but, do you know why I love Black Adam so much, because Black Adam is going to change the whole face of DC universe, like literally, he's going to change the whole face of DC universe, you know how, I know the trailer does not give you that much, it does not give you any information about Black Adam, but, but the thing is, the producer of Black Adam has been talking about the JSA, that is the Justice Society of America, and it is amazing. Now, let me explain what the JSA actually is. So, JSA is basically Justice League, but very different. I know it's confusing, but just hang in there, alright, just, just listen to me. So, as we know, Justice League consists of our current timeline superheroes, right? But, if you have watched the DC Universe shows like Flash or uh, Arrow or Legends of Tomorrow, you know that there is a multi-universe, that multi-universe actually exists in this timeline, right? Plus, DC last year threw us a big hint by showing us a video of the movie Flash meeting the show Flash, both the Barry Allens meeting each other, and it was very funny and it was great. but is also very amazing, okay? It's, 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 it changes the whole history of DC Universe because if that happens, if DC actually introduces multiverse in the movies, we would see the double of everything. That is a double of Superman, double of Wonder Woman, double of Green Lantern, double of Flash, double of Batman, double of every superhero that ever, that ever exists, all right? 
every superhero. But the, the another question that comes is how will this change the whole face of DC Universe? If you see right now, the whole DC Universe is ruled by just the villains, right? Just the villains. Like if you see the movie Joker, it, it was about a villain and it is so amazing. Black Adam himself is a super villain, all right? In, in Aquaman, we had Black Manta. In, in Wonder Woman, we have Cheetah. In The Batman, the recent The Batman, we have Penguin, uh, the Riddler, we have the Joker Squad. We have every supervillain in that movie. Which like shows that DC Universe right now is ruling every other universe with their villains. And only the villains. But once the multiverse exists, their superheroes will take back control. And DC Universe will again be something we constitute with superheroes. Simple. And talking about superheroes, let's come to the my favorite superhero of DC Universe, the Batman. That's right. I have been waiting for this all my life, okay? This movie is gonna be, it, it's gonna break records. It's gonna, it's gonna do everything. But again, let's talk about the one thing that everybody's thinking about, Robert Pattinson as Batman. Will he be a good Batman or will he not? And plus many people, and I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those guys who were, you know, questioning his acting skills. But then I saw his other movies, all right? I saw his, saw his, all his movies and he's a great actor. He's a first class actor. Many people are judging him just because of Twilight, all right? They're like, oh my God, Twilight Wala guy is me being the Batman. No, okay? Everybody hates Twilight and Twilight was a bad movie only because of its plot, because it did not have any, okay? It was not because of the actors, it was because of the missing plot, all right? And Robert Pattinson himself hates Twilight. He's on the same page with us, okay? So don't worry. Robert Pattinson is a great actor. I'm not questioning his acting skills, but I have seen Bane, sorry, not Bane. Uh, I have seen uh, Christian Bale. I've seen Ben Affleck. I've seen Keaton. I've seen Clooney play Batman. And they have portrayed Batman in such a figure that I don't think Pattinson will bring justice to. I know it is, it's, it's judgy on my part, but come on, man, come. I mean, Bale and, and uh, Affleck and Keaton, they have played such great roles for Batman. They are the, the best Batmans ever, to be honest. Also, if you see the trailer, you, you, you notice that the line, I am Batman, is not in the trailer. It, it, the, the, instead, we have the line, I'm vengeance. So I talked to a friend of mine and, they, and he said that it's actually from the animated action uh, show of Batman which they are going to use that line in the movie. And the line is, I am vengeance, I am the knight, I am Batman. But again, I think it's stupid because that one word, I am Batman, that just, just that one line, that overpowers the other three words. I mean, obviously does not say it like, I am vengeance, I am the knight, I am Batman. No, he says it something like this. I am the knight. I am Batman. But do you think that these three words can overpower this one word that Christian Bale said? What the hell are you? I'm Batman. Oh my god, there are a lot of questions for Batman right now, like a lot, but there is one thing that is very bad for all the fans, all the movie actors, everybody. Every, this is very sad news. But the shooting of Batman, the Batman, has been cancelled. The movie itself has been cancelled. The shooting of the Batman has been cancelled because one of the uh, actors on the set have tested positive for the coronavirus. That's right. I don't, uh, it has not been confirmed yet, but it is kind of... Uh, shown that it is Robert Pattinson who has been confirmed positive for the coronavirus case. Uh, it's not confirmed again, it's not confirmed, it is just a rumor right now. But it is true that the shooting has been cancelled for now, the shooting has been stopped, the movie is not being made right now. It is not confirmed who the uh, positive case is, but it is positive and they'll have to wait for a few weeks to come back to the set because of which the shooting will, will not be done and hence there might be, uh, like, you know, they, they might be postponing the film altogether in the next year. So let's see what happens. 
I hope if it's Robert Pattinson, he like you know he has a speed recovery or whoever it is. We hope for a speed recovery for them. And yeah, that's it. That's all from my side. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button and share this video. And okay, before I go, when I say share this video, I do not mean just just for the sake of it. I mean for you to share it, like hit that share button and then choose a few WhatsApp groups, choose a few Facebook groups, choose a few Instagram directs and send them, all right? Just, just send them the link. It, it won't harm anybody. It won't waste your energy, your time. It just means that you, okay, just come on, man. Please do that. Just for God's sake, just, just share this video, all right? You double tap on Instagram, you have triple tap here, all right? Hashtag triple tap, man, come on. You can do this. Just triple tap, send the link and just, go back to your lives that's all maybe somebody else will come in here and like watch this video and give me some views or comments i don't know all right thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye